Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Prime Fish. It's GTAB time. We have here GTAB S8. This is a regular tablet and not a kid's tablet like the one we've unboxed earlier. And what we have right now is a 3G variant and it comes in 4G as well. In this video, we're going to unbox and find how powerful this bad boy is. You know what? This is one of the most selling budget tablet in the entire Middle East. And before we unbox, let's have a look at what's written on the box. Come on, let's dive in. The box is wrapped in a polythene cover. On the top of the box, we have an exact picture of how the tablet is gonna look like. On the back, we have a complete spec. This tablet is powered using a 1.3 GHz quad-core processor. It runs Android 10 Go using 2 GB RAM with 32 GB inbuilt memory that can be expanded up to 128 GB. It has got an 8-inch IPS display and the maximum resolution supported is 720p. This has got a dual camera, one on the front is 5 megapixel and the rear camera is 8 megapixel. This is powered using a huge 5100 mAh battery. Now let's see what's in the box. Before we switch it on, let's see what all accessories that we've got inside. It comes with a transparent silicon case which is soft as a jelly. As always, GTAP sells as a complete package. What we see right now is a screen guard safely packed in an envelope. This tablet is capable of fast charging. We have a USB-A to Type-C cable, another useful accessory, an OTG adapter. This pack comes with a 5V fast charger, which we don't see these days. Many brands have avoided providing a charger within the box. And lastly, we have a quick start guide. Now let's talk about the build. The front is fully laminated tempered glass with added impact resistance. The back is made using plastic, which is held together using a plastic frame. The design is very slim and can be held single-handed. On the right side, we have a volume rocker and power switch. The speakers are located at the bottom. All the ports and card slots are located on the top. Now let's switch on and quickly get into it. It took me less than 5 minutes to set up this tab. This is completely smooth like butter on a pan. The OS is finally optimized. Now let's put on the silicon case that came along with this tab and put this under some vigorous test. Now let's play some games. In this tablet I have installed Asphalt 8 and PUBG to feel the experience. First let's play Asphalt 8. As you can see it's trying its best to deliver us a good experience. I don't find any difficulty in playing this game. Indeed. Asphalt 8 is a heavy game. This consumes roughly 2 GB of storage and the controls are also not bad. Next, let's try to play PUBG. As we know, PUBG is one of the most popular multiplayer game. As you can see, GTAB S8 does a decent job. The controls are smooth, I could not find any delay. As we know, this device has got two cameras. Now let's watch few sample images and videos shot using GDAB S8. As you can see, the camera is good and can be used for online meetings or even to capture documents. Now let's see how long this 5100 mAh battery lasts. Now I'm going to be playing some videos on repeat mode until the battery dies. On continuous video playback, it took almost 8 hours to completely drain the battery. Now let's charge this device and see how long it will take to reach 100%. If you like this review so far, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Using the given 5V fast charger, it took about 3.5 hours to fully charge this tablet. Now to conclude, placing this under numerous tests and pressure this is going to be a great device for almost all your needs.
Using this device, you can make a phone call, you can video call someone using WhatsApp, or even you can attend online meetings or classes using the Zoom app. You can watch movies on 720p, read ebook, or you can even play video games. And this comes at a price tag less than $100. With a quad core processor, this device is faster when compared to other tablets in this price segment. What do you think about this tablet? Leave your thought in a comment below. And that's all. See you. Bye.